Oh, here we are in orbit with my uh, SPO4A Star Alliance um, space plane. This is one of the first space planes that of uh, my space plane career that uh, is unlocked. I have enough tech to build this one shortly after the the rapier gets unlocked. So it's a fun one, and it's good for you know low orbit um, transfers, and you know you can take off different parts of it um, everything in between you know this uh, basically this cabin and this um, this section here the the docking port can be removed and you can put in other things and and you know for different missions and it does a good job and I, I like using this one a lot um, one thing about it though that was kind of uh, not just this one but all my space planes it had an error in it related to the RCS, and maybe you've encountered this as well. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. And I basically call it the, uh, I don't know, there's probably a more uh, official name, but my term for it is the the uh, RCS um, three degrees of, of freedom problem. And that is, by default, when you install your RCS thrusters, they can move... And uh, when you turn on um, SAS, and if you have RCS enabled, um, for instance, if I were to do that right now, RCS, you can see it would fire off and blow through some of my RCS here just to stabilize the craft. And what we're going to do is we're going to let, we're, we're going to, reprogram these RCS thrusters so that they don't do this. I only want the RCS thrusters to be on when um, I'm doing, you know, basically if you, you think in terms of six de degrees of freedom of motion, you've got roll, pitch, yaw, which controls attitude, and then you've got translation controls. You've got left, right, up, down, forward, backward, or, you know, forward thrust, reverse thrust. And I only want the RCS to work with translation because these craft um, this one also even with its uh, you know even with you know without any real control wheels attached it has some control wheel um, built into the cockpit so I don't really need RCS particularly for a small craft like this to maintain attitude um, so up uh, you know my my role um, I don't need RCS firing so what I'm going to do and I'm going to go ahead and revert this one back to the space plane hanger. And I'm going to go in over to each one of these uh, RCS thrusters and right click. And there's an option here for show actuation toggles. And I'm going to click on that and notice how all six degrees of freedom are selected as on. I'm only interested in enabling uh, for RCS. I only want them to fire for translation. So the port starboard, dorsal ventral, and fore aft. So that means each one of these can be turned off. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to do for for all of them. Um, these do have uh, symmetry on, so I only have to do it on one side. So I'm going to do that one, this one, turn those off. And there's a couple on the top. Turn those off. And here, I think I'm, I think the symmetry is up down on these. So, oh no, it is left right. So off, off, off. And it's got two rear thrusters in between this little gap here. They're hiding. So we'll turn those off, off, off. And the forward one was kind of sneaky. I thought it was a pretty clever thing to do, but I, I, I liked how the graphic had these uh, spots in the nose for where it looked like RCS was supposed to, to be coming out of for this style of plane. So a lot of times I'll go ahead and I'll put my RCS thrusters uh, right there so that it actually looks like that, uh, that area is being used. Uh, so we'll do... Oops, I'm doing it backwards. We want roll, pitch, and yaw. And let's just make sure. Yeah, that got it. So that should cover. That should cover it. So I'm going to save that. And this will be my new 1.9 craft update. 
go ahead and put it out on the runway and I'll cheat it into orbit. And we'll see this time uh, if it works a little bit more like what I was hoping a spacecraft would work like. So we'll toggle stuff on. So we can and F12. <laughs> And we can retract the gear. All right. So now, hopefully, when I go to T for SAS, and I can turn on RCS, when I tell it to go prograde, look at that. It's not firing RCS. Well, that is beautiful. So now I'm using my reaction control wheels, or the uh, those gyro gadgets to control my roll pitch yaw and then if I want to go left right up down the RCS is only working for translation and not for notice I can roll left roll right no RCS pitch down pitch up and yaw left all right, and I think that's going to be my standard setting for RCS on all my space planes because they've all got reaction wheels, so I might as well use those to control uh, control attitude, and uh, I can use the RCS just for translation. And that's the way I'm going to set these up from now on.